Okay, so the final upgrade doing uh, the stepper motors and the um, controller box is to make the spindle work. Okay, so I come to the conclusion I have been out here several nights in a row trying to get the Gecko 540 to operate this CNC controller box. And all I could ever get it to do is simply turn it on wide open. I can't, once I do that, make the connections, I can't even adjust the speed. So you're better off not even trying to use this controller unless you want to use it manually. This spindle is making noise. It's made noise since it was brand new. So I have a brand new spindle to go in place. Let me show you what it does. So we turn this on. Okay, so now I've got it, so... Alright. 178 hertz. Hear that? That sounds horrible. So I feel there's bad bearings in here. So I'm going to ditch the whole system, the 1500 watt spindle, and the China controller. And in this box, I have a 2200 watt spindle and VFD. So anyway, don't waste your time. If you upgrade your CNC 6040, throw this box in the garbage. So lesson learned. Take it from me. I've been out here. This will be the third or fourth night in a row for two and three hours, four hours at a time, doing research, trying to make the Gecko 540 control it. The 540 needs certain inputs before it can send the signal to this box, and this box will not send the proper stuff to it. Okay, there goes the, the VFD is on. And this is the 2200 watt spindle that you find on eBay. I think I paid $319 for the spindle. It comes with a new clamp and the VFD controller. Oh, and a water pump, which by the way did not work. So, I guess you can see that okay. So we're going to command 250 RPM. So there's 250, still got a good bit of torque, so that's good enough for me to run an edge finder. So then we'll go to 5,000. Okay, let's go to 15,000. We'll go to 20,000. And 24,000. So there's 24,000. Perfectly quiet. I mean, it's making noise, but uh, that's a lot better than the other one. So there's the controller working. I've taken the a piece of reflective tape and put on here and have verified the RPM so we're going to do that next and I'll show you that procedure okay so I want to show you how to verify your spindle speed and this is what I do on this machine here now as you're cutting if you're loading the spindle down it might slow down a little bit. Maybe you're cutting too much with just static numbers. This is the way I do it. So I picked up this little uh, tachometer. A lot of RC guys and small engine guys use it for RPM. And it comes with some reflectors inside. Put a reflector on your spindle nut. And uh, you'll point this laser beam right at that as it's running. And it'll give you a number. So now let me show you on Mach 3 a couple of things so let's go do not use calibrate spindle 
because usually you'll need an encoder to use this part. So stay away from this because you can really screw some stuff up here. Number two, I've had no luck using the spindle setup in motor tuning. Okay, so what I've been doing is I go to the uh, where is that spindle pulleys? This is where I adjust my speeds to match what's on that window there. So right off the bat, when you set the spindle up, they tell you to set this at 24,000. So that's your max speed. All right. So now what happens here, if I command 10,000 RPM from the spindle on, we're reading 9200 92, RPM. Okay, so let's stop the spindle. Let's tell it to go 20,000 RPM. So this is reading 18,600 RPM. So what I've done is I've played around with the numbers. And I put my max speed in here at 22,000. So now let's stay at our 20,000 and turn it on. So I'm reading 21,200. Okay, so let's change this. Ten thousand. So we're about a hundred over. So we can come down here and let's change this to twenty two thousand five hundred. We'll stay at our ten thousand here. Ninety-nine eleven. Okay. So now let's go up here and change this. Twenty thousand three hundred. So that's close enough for me. So that's the way that I get my spindle to read what the display reads. Now, the drawback to that, which you'll probably never need, is if I command this thing to run 24,000 RPM, it only will go up to what reads 22,500. It only goes up to the max number that I put in, but that's okay. Because the only time I would ever need 24,000 RPM is if I'm running a little bitty tiny, tiny, tiny end mill. And uh, I think I can just adjust the feeds and speeds for that. So anyhow, there's my spindle set up. And uh, that's, that's how I get it calibrated to run with what Mach 3 says.